Quite frankly, with both its unique hardware and AAA exclusives, the Nintendo Switch has definitely taken the gaming landscape by storm. And now they've added the portable model to the family, it's cool to see what the future of the Nintendo Switch will actually be. But is it worth picking up a Nintendo Switch Lite? Today, we unbox and look at it and give you our verdict. What's good YouTube? It's your host Axel Rose, the Shogun with the slogan, and you are now watching MVP Magazine. And it definitely gives me a lot of pleasure to present the Switchery. Oh yes, people. Now I do have some, you know, a couple of more games down here chilling, but this is my Switchery, people. The Switchery. And now, the newest addition to the Switchery, the Switch Lite. Mm -hmm. Now, shortly after the Nintendo Switch was initially a success, there definitely was a rabid contention of fans who wanted a more portable, sleeker and cost-effective model. And in a way, it seems like Nintendo have actually been listening to the fans. Now, initially when I first was hearing the prospects when you'd get the fan mock-ups of the Nintendo Switch Mini as it was known back in the day. I wasn't too much of a fan. I And even when it was announced, I kind of didn't see the full point of a Nintendo Switch Lite. So with this unboxing and with this initial test of the console, I'm really hoping to get a really good view of this console and what it's about with the pros and the cons. Joy-Cons. <laughs> okay, bad joke, bad joke. Now, usually I know what I do is give you guys close-ups of the actual console, you know, swooping, screening shots, whatever. But today, I think I'm gonna do something a little bit different and just unbox it right up in front of you. Now, um, first of all, interesting thing. This box is really small, like really small. If we look at it in comparison to a regular Nintendo Switch box, wow, it is just like, look at it, right next to each other, it's literally less than half of the box. So already now, we definitely know that as far as size, there is just definitely a big disparagement. So, haven't opened this yet before, this is going to be the first time, let's go. Now, um, first of all, actually, let's get a good look at the box. Yellow one. So the, the yellow one was supplied by the plug. Thank you very much. Really appreciate it. You know who you are. And yeah, Nintendo on the top. Mm -hmm. Looks good, looks good, looks good. Um, Nintendo Switch on the back. Um... It also has, well, you know Nintendo, they always go crazy with the writing. Now, there's not much to this, I've heard from what I've seen from other boxing, unboxings and whatnot. There's not actually much to this, like there's not much stuff inside. So, ooh, we open the stuff. Let's open this up. Ooh, 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 be careful, be careful. Now, this looks very awesome. I'm not sure if you can tell, but this is what you're going to be getting inside basically. So this is really cool. Um, it's like they're trolling you because it's like they showed you like two Joy-Cons on either side. <laughs> but you know, you obviously can't detach them. So that's kind of cool. Um, oof, I don't know how to take it out from here. That's what she said. But okay, so look, here we have it in a box. Oh. So that is looking very cool. Um, it does actually feel a lot lighter. Um, the weight on it is really good, really good so far. Um, in, com in comparison to the other Switch. Um, and as far as in the box, we have just small leaflet and an AC adapter. So obviously you can see that no cost was spared by Nintendo to deliver the, us the best product. 
They didn't even give us a club Nintendo voucher or any points or anything. I wonder if I get any points actually for buying this. Club Nintendo. We'll see if I can claim any points or something. I gotta be able to claim some points. But yeah, so so far, um, this is the real star of the box and stuff like that. I put this to the side. So yeah, um, as you can see. Definitely, 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 definitely. Um, it feels very, it feels very, the weight is very nice, I'm not gonna lie. Very nice weight in comparison to the regular Switch, which I will show you. So, this is um, a red Switch, um, and this is the new Switch, and as you can see, um, there's definitely, 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 definitely a big size difference and stuff like that. Now, I'm not gonna lie, this doesn't feel really heavy. Like you see, like this does feel light. This definitely does feel light. Um, um, I would definitely won't give. This is obviously lighter than this. You can see that's a lot bigger. But this isn't that heavy. This isn't that heavy at all. Um, this one here see this this definitely feels like this doesn't feel like um like it's really heavy to hold like a lot of people have been making a big deal about it and um just being a lot lighter than this and to tell the truth nintendo actually got um, a really good form factor on the original switch and whatnot um with it being um with, as far as just weight is concerned and stuff so even though the switch is the this switch is a lot lighter and stuff like that it's not like that much lighter than this and stuff like that you're not gonna really be like oh my gosh you're not gonna go from playing on this to playing on this and be like whoa 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 switch but yeah I was, but one thing that i've heard about is that the buttons are not as clicky as these these do feel like i'm not sure if you can hear them hear this but this does feel rather clicky and this okay it doesn't feel as clicky it was kind of cool one thing i have heard um about the d-pad which is nice to have in comparison to not having a d-pad as you can see on this switch here one thing that's definitely nice about having a d-pad here is that you can well <laughs> because i love my fighting games you already know that um, you should be able to do fireball motions easier, but from what we've seen from certain YouTubers and heard from certain people doing tests like Nihongo Gamer, love that channel, um, he's done a test and apparently the, the, that diagonals aren't really good, so I'll do my own test and let you guys know, but um, yeah, but yeah, um, as far as the buttons and the sticks and everything, I'm not going to lie, um, the sticks kind of feel feel um, a little bit looser on this if so definitely they don't feel I just bought it it doesn't feel like it's super tight it's like this is legit maybe the first time I've opened it anyway so I don't know these sticks kind of feel tight so I don't know if it's because they've been built um, independently and they have their own kind of um, build code and stuff but let me check this as well yeah even this and this this is my launch day switch and stuff like that. This, uh, this I got. This is the Mario edition and stuff like that. And the other one's still in the box. This grey one is still in the box here. We were saving that. To <coughs> I'm surprised that these Joy Cons don't have a more um, tight feeling to them and stuff like that. So that's interesting. Very interesting. Um, it is really cool. Let me let me try to turn it on and see if it has any power. Ooh, it does have any power. Whoa! You're seeing it the first time turning on. So. As you can see, the screen is really bright. I've heard that the screen is better than the original. And you, and you can tell this is the first time it's been turned on. So this is the setup and stuff like that. Y'all don't need to see that because that's gonna have a lot of my personal, personal information on it. But um, yeah, Switch seems kind of cool. Switch seems kind of cool, I'm not gonna lie. Now I've heard that you could get cramp and so far, see, I don't know if you could see this properly. Um, all right, right now, I'll hold it like this. Now, right now, when I'm playing it, my left thumb rests really easy up here, 
but um, my right thumb down here doesn't rest so well. Um, I haven't got that big hands, they kind of do look big here, I'm not going to lie. But um, <laughs> yeah, basically I reckon I could get a cramp after extended play sessions and stuff like that. So I don't know, I don't know, it, it seems like it's going to be a little bit much. And people call this a switch that can't switch, but actually it still can kind of switch because this is one way of playing it. Like right now, as is out the box and stuff like that, this is definitely the default way to play your switch. But as you can see, um, you compare other joy con well, basically you compare other joy cons to this and a pro controller. And yeah, once you've paired a contro pro controller to it, you switch the way you play. Once you've programmed joy cons into it, you switch the way you play. So, hey, this is still a switch. It's just a, it's just a lot smaller than you know, the switches and it just can't dock the TV. Now, even though the Switch Lite is missing things that its older brother has, things like the HD camera, the HD rumble, and the ability to be able to hook up to a television, the Lite still has things in its own corner that make it worth checking out. Things like the new and improved form factor, the weight, and the new and improved battery definitely give this a leg up over the original Switch. But what about the Switch V2? That has an improved battery as well. So does it give it a leg up over that? This and why you should buy a Switch Lite definitely all comes down to you and your own personal gaming preferences. Are you a more portable player? Do you like the television aspect of the Switch? Now, to be honest, I love the television aspect of the Switch. I love the, the hybrid modular gameplay that you can get being able to start your games on the go, finish them on the television and all that great stuff. But I'm not going to lie, I definitely see, definitely see a merit as far as the Switch Lite is concerned. Now, I'm going to see, I'm going to try and see what it's like this week running around with the Switch. I'm putting it through its paces, but so far, I kind of do dig it. I just had a quick run around on Smash Brothers, and I definitely do love the new form factor and gameplay style. So yeah, it's gonna be interesting to see what happens when I fully get into this Switch life. Now, as I said, the game of the week is Astral Chain, so I'm definitely gonna be putting that through its paces on this new Switch. Um, now, I'm sure you've heard from other YouTubers about one of the major drawbacks of the Switch Lite. The fact that you can't exactly game share. So, even if you're using the same profile, if you've got any of your games open on another Switch and you try and play them on your Switch Lite, you're just not going to be able to. And that is definitely one of the big drawbacks because you, you're going to have this new portable model of the Switch. You're going to want to be able to move around with it. You're going to be able to, you're going to want to be able to get as much out of your digital library f that you had from your prior Switch with no, you know, inconvenience. And unfortunately, Nintendo Switch Online has definitely made it inconvenience for you to be able to sh game share with your own games from your own profile. And... If it was just the games, that'd be one thing, but unfortunately, it definitely corresponds to the saves as well. So, whew, having to download every save individually from all your games you've had for the past two and a half years to your new Switch Lite, yeah, not exactly what I plan to be doing this evening. So, currently, my what my idea is, is to just totally have a new profile on this and just use my other switch as my main switch where I just buy games on there, whether it's digital or not, and I'll just play them there, you know, on a TV dot, do you know what I'm saying? And that'll be it, do you know? And I'll just have this as a total, my switch light as a totally new profile. And if there's a game that I've gotta have digitally, you know, gotta have digitally, I'll just buy it twice, you know? But um, yeah, you know, so far, the Switch 
life seems like a very cool experience it seems very interesting so this week we're going to be putting it through its paces and i will get back to you next sunday to give you the full lowdown so it was very nice speaking to you guys today holler at your boy peace